Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. This video is a quick look at a new feature of Quickly, the role editor. Quickly is a very flexible and very powerful Gutenberg toolkit, and a question that often arises in discussions of powerful builders is if they are client friendly. In other words, can the site builder use the full range of powerful features and then somehow pass the site to a content creator? The content creator should be able to edit existing content, such as text and images, but not use the tools in a way that would undermine the brand and styles. The quickly answer to this is the role editor. Let's take a look at what this new role editor is and see what the editing experience looks like for the content creator. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. I have a quickly testing site here. Let's go in and take a look at what quickly looks like in the editor by default for an admin. We have a bar here where we can add quickly section, div, columns, heading, paragraph, button, image, and icon. Here we have the quickly library of pre-designed content, the quickly global styles. We have the block inspector, global styles, global classes and style sheets, collections, which is like quickly's version of reusable blocks, global colors, topography, elements, settings, and save. And you see here, there are our colors that have been defined. If we go look at global classes and style sheets, you can see I've defined a global color background, which is this blue color. And then these are the quickly blocks, and you'll see there are quite a few of them here. Some, like button, image, or paragraph, might be things that perhaps a client could handle. But then you have things like a query, a post content, a repeater, a hook block. These things might be more complex than a client wants to deal with. So here's an example of a quickly block. You notice that it has option for accessing dynamic data. And if we go in to look at the settings on the side, we have here again the block inspector, global styles, global classes and style sheets, collections, and three tabs, primary design and advanced. Then here we have conditions, link wrapper, and we have interactions, block ID, classes, additional classes, global classes. For example, if we select our section, we can go to global classes and apply that blue background. We can change the tags. We have colors, layouts, topography, margin and padding. We have design options here. Some of them are the same that's in the primary and then there's some others. And then advanced things like custom CSS, scrolling effects, custom attributes, and tooltips. Quite a few features here in the editor. Then here we have the Quickly Themer, where we can see the templates for the site. We have the settings, and we have the role editor. In the role editor, this is the new feature. Across the top here, we have the roles on the site. And then these are the features that you can enable or disable. The design library, the heading toolbar, hide post title and responsive mode, quickly navigator, quickly global styles toggle, quickly quick inserter, hide Gutenberg list view, quickly panels, global styles, global classes, collections, conditions, the link wrapper, and interactions, the design tab, the advanced tab, the hover animations, class ID and class manager, tag control, heading tag. Then you have some block specific properties. You have the toolbar for accessing dynamic data, the selection and addition of pseudo classes, and then all the blocks that can be turned on or off individually. The administrator has access to everything. And then for these roles, what they've done is they've turned everything off. 
except for the blocks. Okay, so we're going to look at the author role here. You see these things are turned off and you would have to decide if you want to enable them for the author role. So for example, you might want to set the globals as administrator and then have them available to the author but not let them edit them. You might not want them to access the design tab or the advanced tab. Probably we would want the author to be able to use rich text styling, okay, and access some of the blocks, but not all of them. For example, someone just creating content, they might not need the repeater or the query builder or fragments. They might not need modals or sliders, maybe not tabs or accordions. But image heading columns, that sounds okay. Maybe not sections, maybe not accordions, maybe not a slider or a menu or maps or hooked or query or post content or taxonomy terms. So let's see, I think they might need a few more things here. Let's see, maybe they need the heading tag and the block specific properties which will give them access to color and topography okay so now we've set up a role for the author if we look at the users i created a user pippa who is an author so let me log out and we'll log in now as pippa Okay, so you see a lot of menu items gone. We don't have the quickly themer or settings or role editor. Let's go to a post and see what it looks like in the editor. Okay, so the design library is gone. The global style option is gone. If we look at the blocks available, there's only a handful compared to the number we had before. Now I've left all of the core blocks, but if you were really setting this up for a client, you might want to remove like the theme blocks or the embeds or at least most of the embeds. Okay, and there are some plugins for managing blocks or I think there's some filters to prevent blocks from showing in the list here. But if we add like a heading now and we look, we notice that the dynamic data option is gone. We look over here, we have the ability to change the heading, we have the colors, we have the topography, and we have the margin and padding options. That's what the role manager gives us. I don't think it's a 100% solution, but it seems to be a big step in the right direction. It's cool that the Quickly team was able to supply this. I imagine that as the community uses the role editor, there may be some suggestions and refinements, but this is a pretty nice new feature that is available in Quickly, and I think it'll help site builders who want to limit access to some of the more powerful features and blocks so that content creators aren't overwhelmed with all of the choices. So that's a quick look at the role editor. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Hope you found the video interesting. Thank you for watching.